So multiple studies have shown that there is an increase in the incidence of new onset diabetes in patients in the hospital that have COVID-19. So apparently it seems to be about 14%. There could be multiple factors associated with this. One of the theories is the increase in the attachment to those receptors called ACE2 receptors, which are found in multiple organs, including the lungs, intestines, the pancreas, and the heart. And this could be associated not only with the appearance of diabetes, but also with some other complications that we see like pneumonia and myocarditis associated with COVID-19. There are newly released studies that have shown in autopsies of patients with COVID-19 looking specifically at the pancreas and looking at that cell, the beta cell that produces insulin, that there is a direct damage of the cells in patients with COVID-19. So we believe that this might be a direct association with that insulin deficiency in the development of diabetes in these patients. We know that there is people at risk of developing diabetes in general. For example, patients with family history of diabetes, patients with obesity, sedentary, those patients are more prone to develop diabetes. It is possible that this particular subset of patients, also patients with prediabetes, which is already abnormal glucose, but not in diabetes range, are more prone of developing diabetes if they acquire COVID-19 infection. Unfortunately, we have seen this phenomenon in the last couple of years, and especially during the first year and before we had the vaccinations, we saw that patients would delay their medical care. And so we saw a spike in complications, complications in diabetes and other chronic diseases like heart failure, and patients would come to the hospital a lot sicker. Uh, fortunately, now with vaccinations uh, and telemedicine, people now are procuring medical care so much more than last year.